Hey everyone, welcome to MOVFX and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this type of clean and simple text animation by using Blackmagic Fusion. So let's have a look and get started. Alright, so first of all, we have to take a new composition. So go to file menu and click on new and take a new composition and close this previous composition. After that, check this composition setting. So go to file menu and click on preferences and here is frame format. So this composition is 1920 to 1080 and 30 frame per second. So it's good for now and click on save. Now let's import an image file. So go to folder and this is our image. You can download this image from pixabay.com and I have given a link in the description. So download this and drag and drop to the flow window. Okay, now right click on this flow window and go to arrange tool and check this box to turn on the grid snap. Okay, now drag this image to the viewer and click on window layout 1 for single view and click on this fit button. Okay, now increase the size of this preview window. Okay, now select this image and go to tool menu and add a color corrector node. So go to color and here is color corrector. So click on this option and drag this color corrector to the viewer and select this color character and go to properties of this and here is master saturation so set this value 0 and here is master rgb gain so put the value 0.8 and hit enter okay now click on this label tab and here is blue channel so click on this option and set this value 1.5 and hit enter so it's looking something like that now select this color character and here is XF button so click on this and add a transform node and drag this transform to the viewer and now set this composition 300 frame long which is equal to 10 seconds so put the value 300 and hit enter okay now select this transform and go to frame number 10 and here is size so right click on this click on animate and put the value 1.3 and hit enter okay and then go to frame number 300 and set this value 1 okay so it's looking something like that okay now arrange these nodes okay now we have to take a background node so click on this bg button and rename this background by pressing f2 and rename it to line and hit enter okay now select this line and take a rectangle mask so click on this and select this rectangle and go to properties and here is height option so put the value 0.25 and hit enter okay and set this width value 0.02 and hit enter okay now drag this line to the viewer and select this line and pick a color yellow and click on ok okay now select this rectangle and go to frame number 40 and here is height option so right click on this click on animate and go to frame number 10 and make this height value 0 so it's looking something like this okay now we have to take a text plus node so click on this text plus button and add a text node okay drag this text to the viewer and type your text so i'm typing clean and set this font style century gothic so this is a century gothic click on this and set this bold to regular okay now set this size of this text so um, put the value 0.2 and hit enter so it's looking good to me now take another background node so click on this bg button and rename this background by pressing f2 and rename it to mat and hit enter okay now select this mat and click on this rectangle button and add a rectangle mask and set this rectangle mask something like this okay now take a merge node so click on this merge button and add a merge node and place this merge over here and connect this yellow point to this mat and green point to this text and arrange this node something like okay now select this text and press ctrl c to copy and paste it over here by pressing ctrl v okay now drag this merge to the viewer and select this text and change this text something like text animation tutorial okay now select this text and right click 
on this and here is character level styling so click on this option and go to modifier and expand this option and click on this button and select all this text and set the size something like this and select this tutorial text and set this regular to bold okay and set the size of this text something like that okay now click on this alignment and set this vertical alignment something like this and select all this text and set this in center so select this tutorial and hold control and set the size something like this and select this text animation and set the size of this also okay now select all this text and press ctrl and scroll up to zoom in and set this text in center okay so it's looking nice and then click on high quality button and turn off this auto proxy okay now click on fit okay now we have to take a merge node so click on this merge button and add a merge node place it over here and connect this yellow point to this merge one and green point to this and drag this merge two to the viewer okay now select this merge one and change this operator over to in and select this one and change this one also so change this over to in okay now increase the size of this flow window select these nodes and place it over here and then take a merge node so click on this merge button and add another merge and connect this yellow point to this and green point to this line and drag this merge 3 to the viewer okay now select this text and drag it over here and select this one and set it and then select this rectangle and set this rectangle something like that and select this one and set it like that okay now double click on this flow window okay now let's animate this text so go to frame number 120 and select this text one and click on this layout tab and here is center so right click on this click on animate and select this second text and click on this layout tab and here is center so right click on this also and click on animate and then go to frame number 40 and drag this second text over here and select this first text and drag it okay so it's looking something like this okay now go to frame number 190 select this text one and right click on this center click on set key select this second text and right click on center click on set key and then go to frame number 270 and drag it something like that select this text one and drag it okay after that go to frame number 270 select this rectangle one and here is height option so right click on this also set key and go to frame number 300 and make this value zero now let's play this okay now go to spline window and press f4 to full screen and check this transform one and click on this one button and click on this button also and select these keyframes press s to smooth and hold this handle and make the curve something like this okay now check this rectangle one click on this option select these keyframes press s to smooth and hold this handle and make the curve something like this now select this one and press s to smooth and make the curve something like this okay now same thing for text one so check this one click on this option select these keyframes press s to smooth and hold this handle and make the curve something like this and select these two keyframes also and press s to smooth and hold this handle and make the curve something like this okay now check this one and click on this option here select these keyframes press s to smooth and make the curve something like this okay now select this one press s to smooth and hold this handle and make the curve something like this okay 
now press f4 to exit and go to flow window and now let's play this again okay so it's looking nice after that select this merge 3 and click on this accept button and add a transform node and drag this transform to the viewer and and select these nodes place it over here and take a merge node so click on this merge button and add a merge and connect this yellow point to this and green point to this and drag this merge 4 to the viewer so it's looking something like that select this transform and set the scale value something like 0.8 or something okay so it's almost done so now let's create an aspect ratio so click on this bg button and add a background node and place this background over here and select this background and click on this rectangle mask so click on this button and add a rectangle and set this rectangle something like this and click on this invert option and take a merge node so click on this merge button and connect this yellow point to this merge 4 and green point to this and drag this merge 5 to the viewer which is our final node so let's rename it and rename it to main and click on ok so let's check this all right so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial i hope you like it so i will see you in next tutorial till then bye bye